Welcome to today's Haas service tip. Today I'd like to talk to you about the serial communication fault or the serial encoder cable fault. This alarm occurs when the control receives encoder data that is either corrupt or incomplete. There's a couple common causes for this alarm, so let's go take a look. First, you can get this alarm if the axial encoder cable has come loose or gotten damaged. Make sure that the cable is firmly seated on the main comm board. As long as you've got the cable removed, take a look for bent or missing pins on the connectors, both on the cable and on the main comm board. Remove and reseat the cable just to make sure the connection is good. Next, make the same check at the encoder. Disconnect the cable, check both the connector and the encoder for missing or damaged pins. After you've checked the connection on each end, reseat each connector and check to see if the alarm still occurs. If the alarm does persist, take a look at the access motor for signs of coolant contamination. If the motor has gotten contaminated, you'll probably have to replace it. Disconnect both ends of the encoder cable and check it for continuity. Replace it if you find any shorts or open wires. If the cable checks out physically, there's a chance that electrical noise is interfering with the encoder signal. Make sure the machine is properly grounded. The ground wire has to be the correct size and should run all the way back to the main electrical panel. Make sure there are ferrite filters on all serial data cables, all access power cables, and on the spindle motor output cable from the vector drive. Make sure the machine doesn't share electrical service with another machine or piece of equipment. Finally, inspect the cable routing and if necessary, separate serial data cables from any high power access, spindle, or pump cables. That's it for today's Haas service tip. Thanks for watching. Thank you.